high resist on the DN. Let's see if we can land debuffs here. F my F10E does have good effectiveness. Wow, super high resist DN. Super high. Do I S3 here? Yeah. Okay, that DN probably 200 resist. Yeah, that, that's definitely like a stacked resist on, on that DN. Lots of resist. Perfect for him. Hey guys, it's Sodi here. Today I'll be doing some more RTA. So I've been spamming Ceres plus F10E in RTA. Been doing really well. Um, I think I only need one or two wins to hit Legend. Ooh, Mevlin, okay. Alright, so Mevlin's also a CC player. I'm not sure if I got the first pick. I did not, <laughs> I did not catch that, so... I think a pre-ban Mevlin, huh? Uh, I know he's got a nice SBA, so I'll pre-ban the SBA, I think. Who got the first? I got the first pick, okay. Um, he's also got a tie win, so do I first pick a tie win? Or Cerise? I think I'll first pick Cerise here. He'll probably go with a tie win. Yeah, if he doesn't, then I'll go with my own a tie win. Bizarre, huh? Thing is, I just tagged <laughs> Holiday Euphine. Yeah, I gave her some gear. But a tie win. A tie win is also a pretty good anti bizarre unit. Like he's like a pseudo counter because of his passive. Let's go for F10 E here. All right. Uh, hmm, bizarre. I fought his Bazaar before. His Bazaar is really fast, it's like over 280 or something if I were to guess, so I may just ban it. Oh, he went for a speed imprint in the Mercer, so he's looking to outspeed. Uh, interesting. Do I go Kron? Kron's pretty good here. I could just go Arbiter. Let's, let's try out Holiday Euphine here. Uh, normally I pick Lilius, but I tagged all the Euphine for the Bazaar. I could go um, Avild, I think. Uh, hmm. Uh, so I'm not banning the Bazaar. I think I go Arbiter. Okay, um... I assume that's... A, hmm, not sure how fast that Vivian is. I assume it's about 250. Most Vivians... Well, most well-built Vivians are usually around that point, so... Send for Angelica. He's not banning the Arbiter then. Well, what do I ban here? Ban the Speed and Print, right? Or do I want to ban... Or do I ban the FCC? I think he's banning Cerise. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, I should have banned the Sinful Angelica. Hmm. Alright, he's probably gonna get the first turn here with the Bazaar. I did not max molar my Heishu Fiend though. Yeah, here comes Bazaar. Hmm. Alright. Push everybody up. Yeah, I did the Max Mola my HU Finesse too, so we did get CR push back there. Let's go for the S3. Hopefully, we land on the Mercer here with it. Hopefully, we stun the Mercer. He, she can one shot the Arbiter with it. We needed that. Mm. 
Yeah, we need a death down in Mercer. Yeah, the threat here is the Mercer. She can take out the Arbiter. Nice, you prop Abyssal Crown on the, onto the Mercer. Alright. That pretty much sealed the deal, that lucky Abyssal Crown proc on the Mercer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my um, F10 is on Abyssal Crown. So, I go for the Mercer. I want to take her out. And then, I just keep going for the Mercer, I think. That dual tap. Love it when Arbiter procs dual attacks. Um, okay. Let's need Mercer. Uh, uh, let's take out. Let's take out the Mercer here. All right, we took away his um his threat, but he's taking away our threat. Away, oh, not quite. My HU thing's pretty slow though, she's only um, 236 speed I think. We hit Legend! Yes! Yes! Very nice, okay. With a 69% win rate, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's what happens when you draft a uh, CC, like, there's, there's a lot of players who are well equipped into drafting anti-CC units into CC comps, so yeah, I do have quite a hard time versus those players. Um, like, like, I can adapt, I can go half CC into some DPS units like ML Luluka plus Arbiter Fildred along with my Ceres plus um, F10E. That's a pretty good draft. But yeah, some players, they, they draft um, their anti-CC units after I'm committed to playing full CC. And by full CC, I mean um, when I already drafted three or more CC units, like maybe um, Ceres plus F10 A plus A Tywin, and I have to draft like Shamsi, I'm in trouble. Alright, this guy's a cleaver, because you can see straight away, um, pre bans FCC into RB first pick, that's a cleaver, so let's go anti cleave here. Um, go for my MO Haste. Alright, let's see what he picks. Um, my Adlay, I did nerf my Adlay a bit, so I may just go for Acid as the second speed unit. Yeah, I'm not picking Adlay, I think. Um, I see what he picks. A lot, huh? C dot. Okay, that's pretty standard. Acid. Acid. Why Acid? He wants to outspeed my series. I'm banning that Acid. Um. What do I do here? Do I go speed imprint? Do I go watch a Shuri? I could go K Ron, but I could go Crow. I'll go A Tywin. Uh, it's an F10 -y video. I'll go F10. -y. T Surin? That's a speed T Surin, right? It's probably a, yeah, he's going full speed. All these units are speedy except for the Arbiter Field Dread. Hmm. He's banning the eight uh the series. That's a given. Uh Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Hmm. Interesting. I think I banned the A set, it's probably faster than the A Collie. A Collie did get buffed to um so I guess I'll let A Collie through since she did get buffed. Let's see how she performs. Uh okay. We're gonna get outsped. Um Yeah, my F10 e is not too fast. 
barely got we out we did outspeed outspeed the a lots though. I will send you. It's not gonna sober in. If we if we resist, <laughs> I have to emote right. I'm sorry, but when I land those fifteen percent resist, I, I I just have to emote. Um, he he got really really unlucky there, really unlucky. But yeah, things happen. All right, things happen. That basically secured the win for us. <laughs> Gotta love those fifteen percent. Yeah, I'm just gonna S three here. It doesn't really matter. Um, we have the ammo haste for the arbiter, so it's pretty much over here. Um. Oh wait a minute. As I say that. Can this one shot the the um my F10? E? I, I I don't think so. She's very tanky. Whoa! Look at that. I did one shot. Uh, what do I do here? Um, let's take out the A lots. Since he's not stunned, the other two units are stunned. So. Now I take out the Arbiter Filtret. Can he win this with the T Siren? Well, let's have a look. Arbiter did proc gap. We have Adamant, but um, let's have a look here. Hmm. It's the A Collie. Did I apply slow debuff onto the A Collie? Uh. I did, so, okay, uh, hmm. So, I don't think T-Siren can do this. Nah, ammo haste S3, yeah. Yeah, she can't, she can't. I don't even have to S3, do I? Does she have S3 up? Nope. Do I play safe and not S3 here? Uh Yeah, let's do this. Um Yeah she her passive's gonna reduce the damage from the S3 anyways to fifty percent of her health, so I did not need to use it. Also my health I was pretty healthy so I did not he he need the healing from it. Pretty good, alright. Not that many players in Legend right now, so we're in top sixty now. 69% win rate. I like that number. Alright, next game. Yeah, I've been getting more use out of my K1 lately as an anti cleave measure. Uh, yeah, I did switch up his gears a bit though. I gave him. Oh, yeah, I did give him a uh, portrait because I only use him as anti cleave in RTA, so I want, I want that extra 20% damage. Um. Ban Falcon and Cleary. Ammo Crow, okay. Let's see what he picks here. Alright, but I will protect my uh, Yeah, let's do this, yeah. Maybe I should have went for Rowlet. That's one unit I don't like to go now up against. Two fire units. Um Dizzy, F10, SSD, SSD. Okay. Let's go with Rowana here. Uh, okay, let's see what he picks here. So we have two strippers now for the immunity buffers on his side. Um, Fire Cecilia is a pretty good unit um, in RTA now. Uh, uh, because of the immunity buff, yeah? I'm banning that A Collie. He's gonna ban the Cerise, I guess. Um, so I go. I can just go MO Haste here. Wait, did I pick. Okay, I already picked the units I wanna pick today. Them being Cerise plus F10E. So I can just go for MO Haste here. And I'll ban the A Collie, I think. Did I ban the A Collie? I mean, I got a bunch of AoEs. Do I even wanna ban the A Collie? Yeah, I want to outspeed. Wow, he banned the F10E. But we do have 
the series A time in combo. My I did update my A time win too. Um, he's faster now. He's uh 245 speed. I'll show you guys the stats later. Oh, that's a 250 A Ross. But the thing is, he's gonna have slow debuff on him if we can land it with the series we did. So A time win outsped. You guys see that? A time win cut in because um the slow debuff made uh Ra slower. <laughs> Literally. Um right, let's go for the S3 here. We do have the MO haste plus Roanna into Arbiter and SSV. So on paper we should win, right? So I think I'll try and blow up the Arbiter here. It's a squishy Arbiter. Um, do I, do I S2 something here? Let's S2 the... The Cecilia, I don't want her putting up immunity buff. We did not land the... We did not land the stun. Okay, so we should be able to deal with Arbiter Fieldrip pretty consistently here. Um, the thing about Cecilia's S3 is um, the Provoke, yeah? She applies AoE Provoke. However, MO Tywin just cleanses that. So MO Tywin is actually pretty good versus Fire Cecilia, despite, you know, um, Fire Cecilia, you know, should be the one that's pretty good versus Tywin due to the, um, what's it called? The immunity buff. So I'm okay with Fire Cecilia giving um, his team immunity here. I'm not even gonna use my S3. Okay, I'll keep it. Um, yeah, yeah, good game, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with uh, Fire Cecilia putting up immunity there because my Cerise had her S3 up again so I could just strip it, I think. No, no, I can't because um, Cerise S3 reduces cooldown. It does not strip. It reduces cooldown of buffs by one turn, but Fire Cecilia's immunity buff last two turns, I think. So, yeah. So he'll still have one turn of immunity. Right, that was pretty fun. Um, another Cleaver, guys. Man, Cleavers all day today. Um, I banned Seedom, right? No, no, but this guy does, um, he, he also plays Boozer. So go with Cerise here. I think he goes Crow if he wants to play Boozer. Let's see if he wants to go Boozer. Oh, hmm, Falconer. Okay. Ouch. See if he, he goes Rowlet. So he's not gonna cleave, I guess. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's definitely not gonna cleave. Alright, so I'll, I'll go with my... I bet that Falconer is really fast. Um. Yeah, because he's a cleaver, so he's got really good speed gears. Um, do I go Rowlet? Like, I don't want to give him Rowlet. Does he have Rowlet? Not sure. Um, see why he picks here. I should have went Rowlet, I think. Sure, Falconer counters Rowlet, but you do not want to give the opponent Falconer plus Rowlet. That's a very powerful combo. Ooh, he's got anti-CC units. Um, DN plus Ruel, that's a lot of... Um, a lot of healing and cleanses. Mercer. Arbiter, alright. Um, another MO haste game. Uh, yeah, you should pick... Insta-pick MO haste versus Arbiter. Sometimes, I think I should think more about the draft, but I, I, I just like to do it. Because it's pretty easy. Um, right here, fifth pick. I mean, sixth, fifth pick. Yeah. Um, what do I pick here? Uh, I could go ML Luluka, ban the Falconer. I could do that. Mm. 
Go Desi, I think. Yeah, I'm banning the Falconer unless he picks like some like Champ C or something here. Then I have to ban it. Yeah, Champ C is an instant ban to me here. T Siren, alright, banning Falconer, I think. I think he's banning either Cerise or the M Mo Haste. I think he's banning Mo Haste. But the thing is, um, T Siren anti CC unit, but T Siren's not too great into. Oh wait, I was gonna say SSB, but we don't have SSB. <laughs> we drafted the C here, so um, it's just still not too great with just too many AOEs if you don't have FCC. So. There's no FCC's barrier protecting the T Siren, that's why I let her through. Um, DN attack buff for the T Siren Arbiter and F minus is gonna hurt though. But we are definitely getting the first turn here. So it'll be interesting to see how we perform versus two anti CC units. Okay, um. Hopefully the F minus doesn't proc Elbrus and provoke us. Okay, that's a high resistance DN. Um, high resist on the DN. Let's see if we can land debuffs here. F my F10E does have good effectiveness. Wow, super high resist DN. Super high. Do I S3? Yeah. Okay, that DN probably 200 resist. Yeah, that, that's definitely like a stacked resist. On, on that the end, loss of resist. Perfect for him. Uh, T Siren's gonna S3 here, but. Uh, it's not gonna do much. We have Emo Tywin cleanse. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. S3 here. Maybe I should have S2, not S3. I think I should have S2, yeah. That was a misplay. Arbiter's gonna come back with Scab. Ah, ouch. That's gonna hurt. I should have S P'd. Come on. Counter, nice. Uh, hmm. Let's try and stun the Arbiter. Nice. Ooh, if Maya can S3, she's gonna take out unit. Her S3 does so much damage if an enemy is below 30% um, HP. Yeah, look at that, 16k. Alright, that was a good game. Um, I should have S2'd on the Dizzy. Um, did it matter? I don't think so. The Arbiter Gap just uh, instantly won him, the, won him the game there, I'd say. Yeah, because like, without the Gap, my... Um... My... Uh, what's it called? Uh, forgot what I was saying. My, oh yeah, my uh, F10 e has a lot of bulk. She's got almost 1.3k defense with uh, 17k HP, so she could survive there. But yeah, that was a good game though. Um, yeah, the end. Too much resistance on that. The end. That's the thing. If you bring like a Soul Weaver with a lot of resistance, like a Ray, DJ, Bazaar. Um, you're gonna do well into uh, CC comps. Let's do one more game here. Oh come on! I should have changed my profile picture. <laughs> oh come on! Um, I'll still go for the. I'll still go for crowd control lineup for this final match. Let's see. See going fire Cecilia. Shuffles comp. Yeah, it's going shuffles comp. Got all those buffs going. He's gonna go the end. He, he's gonna go the end. That's the comp. So, so I'm just gonna hover over the end. It's gonna be like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pick you the end. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're doing. You're gonna go with shuffles comp here. Um, let me think. All right, so I'll go a time win. Do I? Yeah, I mean, he's got immunity buffer, but a time win again. It's very good into the fire Cecilia. Um, his passive just cleanses provoke. So okay, uh, he's gonna go DN, right? What's good into DN? Um, 
Normally I put I would pick um F ten E here, but I can't. He banned F ten E, so Rowlet. Rowlet's super good here. Yeah, yeah, Rowlet. It's gonna be hard for him to out carry my Rowlet with Alencia in the end. I mean, he's gonna land his attacks. I may just pick up Ruel just to secure the Rowlet plus Ruel combo. Another really good unit uh, here would be Falconer. Uh, um, Spectre, huh? Maybe I'll ban that. That's an issue. Um. I could just do this though, and just try and end the game super quick. If he picks FCC, I may ban it. Or if he picks a speed contest unit, I may ban it too. Um, my TM Luluk is not that fast though. Um, I need to update her. Yeah, it's not that fast. Uh, yeah, I need it to update my TM Luluk. Hopefully, she outspeeds. I. But we are, hmm, depends who he bans here. Maybe Cerise, Avild. He's not banning Avild because he picked MO Haste. So maybe A Tywin. Nah, he's got immunity buffer. He doesn't care about the A Tywin. Probably the Cerise, if I were to guess, or the TM Lulica. I think he'll ban one of those two. He banned the Arbiter. Wow, and he picked an RB counter. Big brain drafting by him. Well, I did not see that coming. Okay, hopefully we outspeed with the TM Lulica. That's a very important unit for me to have outspeed. Yes, we did. All right, his units on. I'm very fast. That's actually a fast DN, but my TM Lulica and A Tywin are both above 245 speed. So hopefully we. Okay, we stripped. Perfect. Um. Push everybody up here. So who do I take out? I take out the DN, yeah. Yeah. Um, this won't take her out, but apply pressure. Okay. Hopefully we land the stun onto the DN here, so she can't cleanse. If we land the stun, oh come on! Oh come on! She's got S2 here for sure. Okay, um... Our S3 onto the DN. Oh, it's really tanky. Hmm. We did take her out, that's good. He's got S3, but a time he's gonna cleanse. But he'll have immunity buff is the issue. Yeah, there we go, that's what I was talking about, the Atai Wind Cleanse. So you can stun the unit. Um, Look into my eyes. Is he going Rowlet? Oh, he stunned the Cerise. I'm not sure if that's the correct play. Are you ready? Anyways, uh, who do I go for? Alencia. I mean, she's got S3, I think, so I don't care about the mind side. I'm just gonna go for her. Mm. Not A Tywin, don't. Oh, come on, why would you bring A Tywin? Any other unit and Alencia's out. Wow, we could have taken out that Alencia. Oh, I hit Rowlet. Ah, yeah, we're gonna lose this one now, yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on. Oh well. Um, it's got S2 here. Hmm, take out Cerise. Wait, can we can we come back from this? Um I don't think so. If Rowlet did not get hit there, I think Rowlet could have soloed. Yeah, good game though. Come on, Rowlet. 
Ah, oh, dang it. If Rowlet survives... I don't think Rowlet would survive. Yeah, that's a good game, that's a good game. That was close, though. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's RTA video. So I showed you guys my units are uh, built real quick. So I updated my Cerise, I basically gave her a new pair of boots. I wish the 32 defense was on effectiveness. If this pair of boots had 32 effectiveness, my Cerise would be at 90 plus effectiveness, which would be pretty nice. Um, and two units which build some FRS like crowds, you know. Even then, a lot of players are, are lowering the lowering resistance on their knights because of the new frenzy changes. So, yeah, um, Cerise pretty tanky though with the 1.5k defense. Um, I also changed up my uh, A Tywin. So, yeah, really like his stats right now. So, the reason why I went for a speedy build is because I'm playing a lot of CC comps now, speedier comps, so I want him to be tankier. Um, I mean, what am I talking about? I'm not tankier, I want him to be spe uh, faster, but while still maintaining a good amount of HP, defense, and effectiveness. So I got a couple decent um, speed gears with uh, for him while speed fishing, like this piece um, failed to roll speed on the final roll, this helmet too, but they ended up being pretty good um, speed gears for him, bumping his speed over 240. Wrote this uh, weapon this week too. Um, the final roll was 4% grit, so if the final roll went into HP or speed, this would be like a, a godlike weapon, it would be amazing. Yeah, perfect for a king, but yeah, unfortunately <laughs> I rolled crit, but still a great weapon. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, here's my HU Fiend tech. Not great in terms of gear, but I guess she works in Tubasar. I do want her to be faster, but if I want her to be faster, I'll have to give her a helmet with speed, but this helmet's too good on her. I mean, 44 effectiveness, so she does have some effectiveness thanks to this helmet, and her artifact also gives her 22 effectiveness, so... Yeah, I do want her to have some effectiveness because she lands those um, burns and stuns from her artifact, yeah. I do need to max her S2 though, if I want to properly counter Basas with her, but yeah, I'll think about that. I won't um, invest into it yet. f 10 same build. Um, I, I have to lower her HP. Uh, her HP. Right now she has um, HP main ring and necklace so i have to lower um her hp by going for like an effectiveness main ring or like a defense main uh necklace or ring in order to do that um yeah right now if i bring my f10e plus mo ken if i try that combo my f10 is gonna <laughs> gonna get provoked because she has more hp than my mo ken so yeah i have to <laughs> lower her hp asap so yeah, that's pretty much it for today guys, I um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, if you did, please give my video a like and subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to join my Epic 7 Discord, the link is down below in the description. So yeah, have a great day guys, Sodi signing out.